I'm Helen Howe. I'm chair of TAP, which stands for Think About Plastic Aaron. TAP is an organisation whose aim is to uh, prevent plastic getting into the sea around Aaron. Obviously, it has more widespread impact than that, but Aaron is what we've got control over. TAP started about five years ago. People on Aaron are very keen to keep the environment clean to look after it and most of our visitors are too and also it's a very contained area so it seemed like it was a good place to see if we could do something about reducing plastic generally on the island. There are three areas that we look at. We look at when people first buy something and whether there are alternatives available when they purchase something. So for that, we worked with um, shops, producers, people like the distillery, um, to look at what products were available, what they were packaging them in. Then we look at how people use plastic themselves in their home and whether they can find something that is a good alternative. And then how people dispose of their plastic. So one of the things as I work with large and small businesses across Arran in my role with TAP and I have my own small business as well. So obviously I have tried to implement some of the things that we recommend in my business. Um, so for example, in our um, bedrooms, in the hospitality tray, we've got um, water bottles which are actually reused uh, cooking oil bottles, olive oil bottles, and even accounting for the fact that there would be some times when the rooms weren't occupied, we estimate we save over 1,400 plastic bottles a year just by using something different. So in our uh, kitchen and in our dining room, we no longer use the plastic tubs of butter or margarine. We use um, butter curls, good old fashioned butter curls, or we use tiny little glass dishes which are pence to buy and fill those with butter. We bake all our own bread, all our own shortbread. So in the bathroom we've done away with individual toiletries and um, we have replaced them with pump action dispensers for shampoo and for soap. So that's also got rid of lots and lots of plastic. Um, we have also experimented with uh, shampoo bars at times, but people seem to prefer to have the liquid soap. So we, we've stuck with that. Aaron's into Scotland have been manufacturing Bath and Body products on the Isle of Arran for over 30 years now. As we kind of moved into the market of not just Bath and Body and Home products, but wellbeing products, we wanted to really push the sustainability messaging that we are going out with as a business and a brand. As of 2022, we've worked to make all of our single-use plastics 100% PCR. So we're eliminating the use of single-use virgin plastic within our whole product range. We've also recently introduced our two-litre refill proposition to our direct-to-consumer business, which actually allows our consumers to reduce their plastic consumption by up to 76%, which has been a really positive move for us as a business as a whole. We're also moving all of our online distribution to a carbon-neutral warehouse and reducing all online packaging alongside all of our gift packaging being 80% recyclable cardboard boxes um, to make sure that across our product range we are fully committed to protecting the environment. We've worked with Think About Plastic on the Isle of Arran with the environmental community to help further push our sustainability message and protect the island as a whole. So just at the start of 2021, TAP actually awarded um, Arran in Scotland with their gold accreditation for the work we've been doing around um, reducing our plastic and carbon footprint in general as a business. My name is Paul Chandler, I live on Arran. So the measures that we've introduced, um, myself and my partner Sue, we're members of the Pioneer Project on the island in terms of the community gardens. So we grow our own food. So we have polytunnels and we grow as much of our own food as possible. And as a community member, we go and volunteer and then we can harvest as well. We also reduce our uh, single-use plastic by 
reusing. So for example, if we have uh, cleaning products, we aim to get those uh, refilled uh, from a refillable bottle. Things like washing up liquid, we will get refilled at the Bay Stores in Whiting Bay and we will take our bags for life if we're getting other vegetables. I'm Timothy Billings. I uh, lived on Arran for 14 years. I'm um, a uh, local authority councillor for Arran. Since I became a member of TAP, the Think About Plastic Arran group, it has really made me think about what I do and how I can reduce my use of plastic down. Uh, so I've been quite active in looking at different ways of, uh, of, of, of doing things, you know, from not using shampoo bottles, um, using um, shampoo bars, uh, using conditioner bars and instead of liquid soap, using solid soap. When I go out to buy something, I'll see if there's something available that is maybe plastic, uh, a plastic-free alternative. It's, uh, it's, it's looking at what's available on the shelves and thinking, OK, you know, I want to get a product that's going to work for me, but how, what, how can I reduce the amount of plastic that I'm, that I'm getting? My name's Nikki Harris and I've recently started work with EcoSavvy, although when it first started I was one of the volunteers here for the first year of the project. The main aim of it was to try to stop as much stuff going to landfill really. However, since then it's grown its own arms and legs and now we stock eco products. We're trying to see if we can form an island collective so that we can buy in bulk Therefore, we can get cheaper wholesale prices if we buy, you know, hundreds and hundreds of things. We've got a good selection just to let people see that no matter what you buy in, out of a chemist or a DIY centre, say for household goods, you can get a, an, an eco product, you know, that might be just a little tiny bit more expensive, but at least you know that it's all compostable. It, it's just, it's not going to be here in 500 years. It's going to be gone in six months to a year. And the majority of these products are made in Scotland or Britain. Therefore, they're not getting shipped halfway around the world and all that pollution. Their, their, their miles are very low. My name's Tony Garnett. I'm a cabinet member for the economy and climate change. And of course, as part of that, it's uh, my job to push forward all the climate change issues, including things like single-use plastic. And so that's why I've been really pleased to see all the the local projects that have been going on, particularly recently in Arran, um, where they have been doing an awful lot of good work in terms of reducing the amount of single-use plastics that people use, and therefore reducing the amount of stuff that was sent to landfill there to stay for thousands of years. We're lucky that legislation has recently changed to ban the use of single-use plastics. And we've been doing our best, certainly within the council, to limit our use and remove, in fact, all of the single-use plastics. But what we also want to do, of course, is put that out into the wider community to get all of our residents, all of our businesses, all of the other organisations that are within North Ayrshire to recognise the problems that we have and to tackle these issues as best they can.